Hello to all my viewers around the globe. So today in this video, we will be discussing on how to create a chatbot using Microsoft Copilot Studio. The agenda of this video is to learn the basics of creating a chatbot using Copilot Studio. We will be creating an agent or a chatbot to, that can read the document and answer queries or user questions based on the information in the document. Then we will be publishing the agent and at the end, we will deploy it to Microsoft Teams for user collaboration and interaction. So let's check this out in action. So we are into the Copilot Studio home screen and to get in here, you can use the URL that says copilotstudio.microsoft.com. Once you land up here, you will see something like this, wherein you will see my environment at the top right corner and at the left, you will see the home button and then the create button, which is used to create a chatbot or an agent and whatever agents you have created will be coming into this agents tab and then flows is the agent flow that is very new and right now is in preview and it is quite similar to Microsoft Power Automate flow. We will be discussing about the agents flow in the coming videos. So let's now create a chatbot. So I will hit on create and then I will go to new agent. And once I will click on new agent, the chatbot compiler will ask me a few questions. For example, it is asking me, what would you like to make? I will say, I want, I want to create a bot that can answer user questions basis of the information in the doc so i'm explaining what i want to build and what is the expectations from this chatbot now the chatbot will ask me to provide a name i can say the name as doc reader so i have asked the compiler to create a bot with this name doc reader now it's asking me to provide accurate answers from the user questions. I say yes, need the actual answers from the document only. I'm trying to provide context of what is expected from the bot actually. And now it's trying to load something and at the end it's saying that what happens if the based on the information provided in the documents would you like to add any publicly accessible data sources for the reason no so i do not want to add any websites but in the future i can add any publicly accessible data sources as well so now it's all set up now i can hit create right here and it will create a chatbot for me with the name doc reader so this is the name if you remember i have provided initially and these are all the descriptions and the instructions that was given to the compiler and now let's discuss this screen so this is the name of the bot this is the overview screen and i'm at the overview screen right now i can see the description i can see the instructions and then i can see the topics so topics are basically salutations so if someone someone is greeting you like hi hello what will the bot do so these are the topics that you can maintain you can add your own topic as well now this is the knowledge section wherein you need to add the data sources and then you have the actions which we will be discussing later and triggers is as the name suggests that these are the triggers on 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 setting up certain triggers on happening of an events for example if something happens shoot this email or if something happens um, download this uh, file so something of that sort could be given in actions and triggers and at the end we have prompts so these are some by default prompts that the compiler has provided basis on our initial conversation and i can edit these and add our 
own prompts as well. So now the next important thing is I need to provide a knowledge source. I need to provide the documents which the bot will use to provide answers to the users once, once it is ready. So I click on add knowledge and you can see I have public websites. I can give the SharePoint URL or else I can give a Dataverse link as well. But the Dataverse is in preview and it is not suitable for production environment. And then I can go to advanced and see various other data sources as well. For example, Azure AI Search, Azure SQL, Salesforce, ServiceNow, Zendesk. But all these data sources are in preview right now and it is not recommended to use those data sources. So what I will do for now, I will load a document. For example, I have this Power Platform Licensing Guide which is a PDF file. I have loaded this one as my knowledge, as my data source. So I want the bot to go through this file as per the questions of the users and answer the user's question. So it is right now in process. So the document is getting loaded within the context or within the bot data sources. Now uh, we have topics wherein these are the topics and then we have actions so actions as in the power automate flow actions you want something to happen then you can configure your action and then we have the list of activities and then we have the analytics information and then we have the channels channels is when you have created this bot and you want to publish it somewhere for the users interaction so you can publish it to Microsoft Teams. You can publish it to your own demo website or a custom website or a mobile application. So these are certain channels that are provided by Microsoft where you when you can publish your bot. Now let's go to knowledge and our data source is still in progress. One more thing I want to highlight over here is you can add as many knowledge sources as you wish. For example, I have added one knowledge source that is a PDF document and I can click on add knowledge and I can click on browse and I can keep on adding my knowledge sources. But the best way is you add all your PDF documents within the SharePoint link or the SharePoint URL and give the URL and then the copilot will go through the SharePoint link and can answer all the questions basis of all the documents within that SharePoint link. We will be discussing this about SharePoint in our next video. Now let's go to knowledge again and you can see the status is still in process but we can try configuring it now. So let's say what happens. So this is on the right hand side, you see a test your agent. So this is provided as a user interface wherein you can test your chatbot on whether it is behaving correctly or not. So let's say if what happens if I write hi. So if I say hi, it will go to one of those topics for example, it will go to one of these greeting topics and something initiated if I say said hi. So if you click on here, it will launch a flow or a conversation trigger that happens. So my bot is great getting triggered when I am saying hi. So every time when I say hi, now let's say hi again. So every time when I'm saying hi, you see my bot is getting triggered. So I have configured my bot by saying hi right now. And the first message that it is displaying is this message. Hello, how can I help you today? You can change this message as well. But for this video, I will keep it as it is. Now, if I go back to our agenda, our agenda is to create a bot, which is create a bot doc reader that can answer the questions basis on the document that I provided. So I provided a PDF document that is Power Platform Licensing Guide. Now what I will do before ending the topics and before ending the conversation, I will add a step or you can say I will add an action and this action would be an advanced action that can generate answers. So I will click on generative answers and within this, you can see I have to provide an input. So for input, I will be providing, uh, for example, 
let's say I will be providing the input as activity text because something activity is going on because the user will be asking questions so that is the activity and the data sources so if you remember I already added a data source in the knowledge section that is my PDF file now if I click on edit this pop-up window will open and then I have to select this knowledge sources so I want the bot the AI chat bot to search only in the things that I have given this bot to work so I have provided this document I will click on this so that I am saying the bot to only search from this document and I am deselecting it so I don't want my bot to hallucinate to any other places do a google search or do a chat gpt search no I only want the bot to search only on this pdf document that I have provided now I will hit save and the bot is getting saved and it will be available in few minutes so this is the bot that we have created very simple now let me summarize the steps we created a bot with the name this we give the description and then we went to the knowledge section and we added a PDF document and it's still in process because this PDF document is is not that big but it is relatively big so it can take uh, up to 20 or 15 minutes so it will keep on happening now and then we went on to this uh, flow and where in we have added our we have added a action or we have added a step that says create generative answers and then we have provided the input and we went on to the data sources and we made sure that the ai is off so that it should not hallucinate and we have selected the source that we have provided now if I try to say hi again and it will start from the beginning it will say uh, how can I help you today and I can say uh, I can ask a question I can ask power app licensing can you help here so I'm being a user um, asking the bot to help me in power app licensing so let's say what it is retaining so based on the knowledge that was provided in the document it has given me the answer so this is how it works I have also created some other bots for example that can read a huge list of documents and keep you giving the answers now what you can do is to go to channels and then within channels you can go to Microsoft Teams and within Microsoft Teams there so you, you already see this bot and you can add this add this bot as a channel and you can publish this bot and once you publish this bot it will be readily available in your Microsoft Teams for example I did it for one of the one of the chatbot I create that I created in Copilot Studio and you can see that built using Copilot Microsoft Copilot Studio and then I added it in here the name of the bot was doc finder and then I asked some questions that give me the information about fabric license and that information was not there in that document but it it uh, gave the information about Copilot Studio licensing. So it mentioned that the retrieve document do not contain a specific information, but I've asked certain questions about Power Apps license, and this is what the answer was given as per the document. So the idea is to publish it somewhere, and once you publish it, you can give access of this bot to specific users, or else you can create an Azure AD group and then add the users in there and over here you can go to availability options and then within availability options you can you can add in the specific users let me show you how it is done as well so if I go to uh, 
channels, for example, this is the another bot that I built. So if I go to Teams and Microsoft for publishing, so and this is the same bot that is called as Doc Finder that you will see uh, here that was published by me over Teams. You will see the availability options here. Once you click on the availability options, you can see show to my teammates and shared users, show everyone in my organization, but I want to show to a specific people and there you can add in the people from your AD. So right now I am the only owner and the user but i can keep on adding new owners and users and and they can use this bot over their teams all they need to do is to go within the apps or they can search for it or else you can also provide them with a link for example if you go back and see agent in teams it will directly open in microsoft teams onto a new browser or else the second option is you can go to channels you can go to availability options and then you can copy the link and give this link to the users and once you they will click this link it will redirect them to the bot but make sure before doing this you publish the bot by by clicking on the publish button uh, let me go back and close this one so, closing uh, close this one so you need to publish this bot first so once I publish this bot just hit publish and this bot will be published and once you hit publish you go to channels and only then you associate with your team channel and give access to the users so thank you so much this is the first way a basic way wherein you can add a document within the knowledge source and users can ask any question basis the document but the good way is to have a sharepoint url and add the documents in there so in our next video we will see how the sharepoint can be used to leverage and create this chatbot thanks so much